Bonjour and welcome to a new unboxing video and today I've got a box which is a good start when you want to do an unboxing and this one comes from our friends at uh, Super 7 in the USA and you know Super 7 they are the people who do all those uh, retro action figures and we actually have some retro action figures and, uh, and they are something that I, I, I'm actually quite excited about because they are retro action figures of Star Trek the next generation so uh, there's for now a wave of six figures and uh, so we're going to discover the six figures now and see how good they are so the first one uh, first of all uh, we basically this is the, the, the this is from the back so the first one is going to be Guinan uh, which actually is you know <clears throat> I wouldn't say I'm a choice for the first wave of figures but I'm not sure I would have chosen Guy, I would have chosen maybe uh, Constable Troy or, or, or uh, uh, and Dr. Crusher first, but it's nice. And I mean, it's it's Gainan. Everybody loves Gainan. So that's the design of the, the, the pack, which is actually not too bad. It does have a silvery foil behind the uh, the picture and the back is really brilliant because you do have the uh, biography of the character plus the description of the wave so of course you're getting actually a full preview of what I'm going to show you now but the guard design is actually pretty decent I mean I, I'm not always a big fan of their cards but the, this is pretty good I mean I, I'm, I'm an opener anyway so it doesn't make much difference for me but some people actually love packaging because they love keeping stuff in in their boxes so the second one is actually the, 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 the board uh, very nice card uh, art as well. So it says, we're going to open them, so don't worry about this. I will show you. Yeah. And then we do have Wesley Crusher, and it's interesting that it is a Wesley Crusher from the first season because he never had this uh, outfit later. Uh, so I suppose maybe they were trying to homage the Galoob uh, Star Trek Next Generation figures that were released in 1987, uh, in which the Wesley Crusher was planned but never released. So I'm suppose I suppose it's like a you know a wink to that that they they're doing with this. So another pretty cool figure uh, I'm not showing you the back because the back is the, the the same for all figures except for the biography then we do have Worf uh, which seems to be quite uh, nice with his little uh, sash and, and, and everything and then the last two we do have data because of course we do need to have data in Star Trek and next generation figures and of course the main man himself uh, we've got captain jean-luc picard uh so so here you go that's the first the first wave so six figures we're going to see what they look like uh because i suppose that's what you'd like to you'd like to see them in detail i'm going to to cut this open i'm not going to to read them out because uh well i i do like the card art so I, i'm not quite sure if i'm going to recycle the card. Oh, I, I would probably keep one um as an archive I like it's something that I, I used to do when I was younger I would keep a, a card as archive mostly because you would have the checklist in the back you remember those Star Wars action figures or superpowers or from DC you had the whole list of characters in the back so it was actually a very handy reference uh, to have so uh, so I may just keep the, the card I'm not quite sure we're going to open the bubble and we do have the figure and its accessories because all of the Starfleet characters except Wesley Crusher because he's a kid have a, 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 a phaser so here's the, the, the phaser I'm, I'm going to show you if I can it's a bit difficult but uh, as you can see it's quite detailed actually it's really nicely detailed lots of uh, paint and we do have I'm going to put it in Jean-Luc's hand and here is uh, Jean-Luc Picard's uh, action figure so it's basically it's a, a retro figure so you do have five point of articulation unless the no the wrists are not articulated so it's five point of articulation so you do have uh, Jean-Luc with is uh, it's actually not too bad it's it's it, it's a good sculpt I mean for retro figures which 
don't have to look exactly like the actor. It's actually not too bad. So uh, we're going to check with data. So here is data. So uh, from what you can see, I mean, they are literally the, the same bodies. Uh, I think, yes, they are the same body, but just more in a different color. Uh, there's no real difference uh, between uh, Picard and and data. I mean, it's it, it's a good uh, cost-saving uh, system. And actually, I mean, if we don't really mind that, I mean, it's more important that the the character looks, the figure looks like the character. So this is Wolf, and as you can see, with Wolf, it's the same body, but you, you can remove the the sash. So quite a nice figure. It's interesting though that they gave him a. Uh, a goatee and a moustache because he never had that kind of full beard and moustache in the series but it's okay we don't mind it's okay he looks nice that's what we want um, and then we do have three more to open uh, so which are the ones with no accessories uh, so Wesley Crusher uh, here is Wesley uh, which just some is, is very is is his short uh no he's not really well he's not that much taller but uh, ah yes it is he is slightly slightly shorter than uh than jean -Luc, which makes sense because he's a kid uh so actually it's not a bad wesley crusher at all uh let's continue there's two left you you it's going to be quite uh fast now it's going to be into more interesting because what we do have figures which are slightly different like the Borg. Uh, the Borg is very good. It does have some slight movement in the head which is restricted by all the, the tubes that he has. Um, but that actually, that's not too bad. It's actually a pretty cool uh, Borg figure. And then we do have the last one of the series, and uh, but not the least one. Yeah, this he does look uh, a, a bit like the actress. So that's Gainan, which same thing. Uh, uh, yeah, she can turn her head. So really pretty cool. So, so that's the full wave of Wolf Gainan, the Borg, and Captain Picard, Data and Wesley Crusher. So here you go, that, that's all of them. You can actually see them, or I'm trying to show them all at the same time. So that's wave one of the Star Trek The Next Generation uh, retro figure from Super 7. And I definitely hope that they do a second wave because it would be nice at least to finish the uh, the crew. We don't have Geordi, we don't have Riker. We need Troy and, uh, and Crusher. And I think some more uh, aliens would be would be nice uh, anyway. And, and other characters. I mean, there's plenty of them. I'm pretty sure that because they do have a Borg here, they may do a Locutus because that would be fairly easy to do. Just change the head. And uh, and, and hopefully they're going to continue. I'm very, very happy. Uh, I will have to do a comparison sometime with the Galoob from 1987 to see how they compare in size and stuff. Because they're supposed to be the same scale. But really very, very pretty cool. Only downside is that I find that those are $18 each, which I find for retro figures may, is maybe a little bit on the expensive side. But at the same time, those are short runs. Uh, they never do a huge amount of, uh, so it has to be a bit more expensive than if those were released, for example, by Hasbro or or, or Mattel or a big company which does tens of thousands of them at the same time so it's actually cheaper for them to, to do them uh, but otherwise I'm very very happy and I'm uh, looking forward to with two hopefully in a few months and I will speak to you again soon bye <laughs>